Welcome back everyone. So in this video, what we are going to do is to write a client script. The client script is going to make a call. It's going to call a server side script. Okay. In our case, it's going to call the scripting code that we have wrote last time. So let's get started. Let's create first our UI script. So I'm going to click on create application file. Look for UI script. So you can find it here, UI script, and it should have client development. So I'm going to click on create. Let me just save this page and then right here. So I'm going to give here the title of my client script, weather UI script. Okay, we do have an API name here and then I'm going to choose here UI type all. <clears throat> now I'm going to just delete everything that we have here and let's get started to write our code. So I'm going to create a variable called ja, which will be equal to new glide. Ajax. So this is a specific class which we can use now to make a call uh, of a client script. We're gonna mention here what is the script you are going to use. We are going to use the uh, script include. So I'm gonna just keep the name of the script include. So the following one, not the API name, the, this one. So I'm gonna take that one, put it right here, and then as we are giving this information we have also have to give some other information which is the parameters so the first parameter that we are going to say is okay this is a script include that you should use but what are the what is the function what is the method that you should that i should use there because a script include can have multiple uh, methods multiple function in there we do have only one okay i have i'm having a problem to load so i'm going to just load it once more and you can see here we have get weather info that's the only one we have for now so i'm gonna specify that information so i'm gonna add parameters and uh inside i'm gonna just okay before even that i should spec i should write the following syntax which is sys farm underscore name this should be exactly this one not something else sys form underscore name and then you put the function what the function that we should the in the, in the parameter so get weather info the next parameter is going to be because as you know we have here but default the value chennai for the location so instead of having chennai i'm gonna have something else and uh, and i will have chennai in our ui script Okay, we're gonna have the input value in our client script and then we're gonna leave um, we're gonna just erase that part like we, we are not going to have the, the value of uh, the city in our server side script okay so I'm gonna just create that parameter so sys um, underscore location and I'm gonna give the location here is going to be let's say the same city Chennai okay so the fact that I have wrote this line here is going to help me to replace Chennai by the following syntax so this get parameter I'm gonna specify which parameter which is sys farm location the fact we, that we have this line now in here we will be able to push the input here, let's say the parameter is value Chennai to our script include in this way. Okay, so let's save this one and also let's continue here. So now we have set the uh, let's say we have given what is the script include to Glide Azure X, what is the function you should use, what is the uh, input value in parameters that you're gonna have, this kind of information we have to get the result right now to get the result we're going to use what we call get xml get xml uh, will allow us to send these information to execute the method in the server side and get the result back and we get the result back by using a callback function and i'm going to call the callback function ajax response okay and I have to therefore write the uh, the function. So I'm gonna create 
create the function ajax response and inside my function for now it's going to be empty it depends what we're gonna have as output so we are receiving the response with the XML format. So we have to, therefore, when we are going to output everything from the server side, we're gonna create some XML tag here so we will receive the same kind of information here. So I'm gonna transform the output that we have here. Like we're gonna modify the code that we have here. So for example, here we have var city and then output city. So we have the same thing for the rest of the variables we have created. So I'm gonna just modify this one. I'm gonna create war city, even though it's an existing one. And I'm gonna create this uh, new item. And I'm gonna give here city. Okay, this one says I'm creating, creating an X, XML tag called city. Okay, this is the first thing. And the second thing, I'm gonna set some attributes to the XML tag so city so I'm gonna create another variable called place equal to city dot so this one this variable dot set attribute and what attribute we are gonna create is so value I'm gonna call it value so you will have you have to imagine a city tag Inside we have an attribute called value which will be equal to the value that we are getting from the action result. So that's the thing that I'm going to put right here. So I'm gonna just bring this line uh, right here. Okay. Mm, let's say I'm gonna keep it like this. And then this is the uh, let me check what we have here. City is already defined. So I'm going to erase oh, this line because I don't need because now we do have uh, the city variable here. We have the tag created and then we have another variable where we are getting, uh, let's say, <clears throat> we, are, uh, we are setting the attributes. Okay. We are setting the attributes value and we are putting inside that value inside that value the output that we are getting from the action just the fact that we have written these two lines here we can write kind of the opposite there in order to get the attribute we are setting the attribute in xml form in xml tag called city we're going to get the attribute from the xml tag city on the other side in here so let me just Common this line and then save this one and then we're gonna write here or I'm gonna create here var city so this is a var city this is a local variable that I'm using here okay it is it is not the city that we have here okay it's totally different so it's going to be equal to I'm gonna put response uh, let's say server response okay sorry so this is the one from where we are getting the result so server response dot response xml dot get elements by tag name okay so inside I'm gonna give what is the tag name that we are having we are having the tag name city if you remember this is a tag that we are creating right this is a tag that we are creating so <clears throat> that's the one that you, you should use now what we are going to do is get the value from uh, the tag okay so we have the tag city and we have an attribute value which will be equal to something so I'm gonna get this in a variable called place I guess I we don't need this variable I'm 
gonna just delete and I'm gonna keep it like this. Okay, we can do like this. We don't need to create our repo. It's not, it's not useful. So we can we can keep it like simple like this. Var city this new item city and then city set attribute and so on. And now here we're gonna create a variable called place, which will be accessing city following one which has now the reserve from this tag this is a syntax that we have to write so zero and then you're gonna get the attribute right get the attribute and the attribute name is value inside we have the city right now Theoretically, we have the city in the variable place. I'm gonna make just an alert to make sure that we are having the city in here. So it's going to we're gonna have a pop up, and we wish, we should have the city of Chennai, like Chennai International or something. This is the result that we have we had before. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna submit. So I guess everything is proper here. Let me check one more time okay it's good so i want to just save right so we have now this line here we have our ui script and what we are going to do we're going to create we are going to create because as we, we have an alert we are going to create a new ui page from where we're going to load the script okay i'm going to just create a ui page and we have it here Click on create, give it a name, for example, weather UI page like this. Okay, we, we're gonna have an endpoint, we're gonna use this endpoint uh, to view our result. I'm gonna keep it general, and inside our jelly tag, I'm gonna write the following script so script source equal to, I'm gonna copy the API name my UI script just paste it here dot j s d d x okay this is the one that we should write and let's close our script tag so this is going to allow us when we are going to launch this page it's going to exactly load the following script which is here okay so this one is going to make a call the client server side script our script include which is here and this one is going to actually get the chennai as location execute the uh, action get the output work on the format with the xml and we're gonna get the result in here and we're gonna work again on the uh, xml format to get the value stored in the place and then make an alert this is a whole operation going on here so let me just save this one okay we have something wrong here script uh, what's wrong here open code is okay we should put this thing here okay so now it's proper Great. So let's try to load our page and see if we are going to get if we are going to get something or not. So I'm not logged in. This is a message I would get. So I'm gonna put my admin and password log in and I should have a pop-up. Okay, as you can see here, I have Chennai International India. So it's good. We have done successfully. Uh, I mean, we have pushed the value from the server side to the client side. And now what we need to do is just to modify for the rest of the variables that we have here, exactly the same thing, same operation. And we are going to do exactly the same operation in our Ajax response. Um, 
uh, how to say function thanks for watching that's the video that we are going to do for the next